all right let's start this boys okay so we've done a lot of number of mocks right now uh currently number 18 on just the first try uh, we didn't manage to do the number seventh as usual but, but that's because i didn't really try to min max a lot of the things uh, in terms of i was just testing more comps and one of my runs was actually just a test run that i didn't even know that it was going to be able to do but in case you are wondering what are the teams that i used for testing the run it was this one i had maxwell with modernia here this is an i'll talk about each of the teams actually let's start with team one actually so these are the different teams that i we started up so the base of this team one is litter bunny girls and in this situation you can actually basically replace it with different team comps some people have used alice and maxwell i've heard like lots of like 2.2 over 2 bill damage on that one some people have done alice and a2 but in this situation i think if you're if you have a lot of elemental damage that's where you want to put the bunny girls alongside with litter those so those are gonna be the good ones and if you don't have a lot of like fire elemental advantage then you can do something like this for example but uh the general gist on the bunny girls seems to be like alice maxwell um you could use scarlet and modernia also or a2 and modernia these are kind of like the popular ones and uh i have tried also maxwell and modernia those these work so that's kind of like the base of team one now let's start with team two with uh, i will jump on my team three but the team two is the next thing and the idea behind this is like it's a very offensive team, a lot of risk involved, and the goal of this team is to destroy as fast as they can. So if your unit are not like overloaded, really geared, you're gonna have trouble with this. So the idea is, some people did this where they use Alice and Maxwell. I've seen one where there's Maxwell and Modernia. I've done that those runs as well also and I'll, sh I'll show you the different teams that i've run and um i think the most common thing is obviously just as long as you destroy them as fast as you can uh there is another option with 2b because 2b is like high health but uh yeah you might have to like play around with this team comp but the idea behind this team comp is to be as offensive as you can as much as possible and the template is basically this three right so that's the team two uh template now let's move to the next one and the next one is the easy one or the most common one because most everyone basically is like okay snow white can do it uh, and that is gonna be the Miranda Snow White team comp. So this one is nice because you are, if you shoot the core shot, the gun, you can actually one shot them. Now the base of this team comp actually is very dynamic. So I would say the, the, the core of this team is Miranda and Snow White, and then you can slap it with different units. Typically, either you choose between Dala or Summerhelm as your cooldown reduction unit. So that's kind of like the idea behind it. So you, you use Dala or um, where's my Summerhelm <laughs> or here or Summerhelm. So which pick, 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 which one you want? I think I enjoyed using Summerhelm because it does help a little bit on the bombs. Doesn't fully clear it, but there's also the fact that. Usually my Snow White wasn't really timing up with my Dala properly, is especially if you do this particular with Bully. It, it doesn't time up that well. So you could do that. Um, some people did Yulha in this situation. So you could use Yulha and now you have a cooldown reduction of Dala and then you have like a healer so in that healer is going to be either noise or like rapunzel 
um, whichever one kind of works out for you but in my situation uh this is a pretty tough i think some people have reported that they're they couldn't handle it um so that this is going to be varying from account to account whether you can handle it or not but in terms of what i ran this is uh this this is what i ran and also i, I did try also the summer helm as well so that's so those are the three teams that i would say probably the most stable one that like a lot of people have used the other ones it kind of varies um this one is where people have been putting the different units here so i think the staple one that is common would be this team volume and mass volume and mass do synergize with one another and to be does synergize with mass so that's why this team is good but if you're using this team uh, and then you use decide to use noise, this one is uh, it, it will work. So you might you might want a manual noise in this situation because sometimes you want to just to uh, you want to be the main lane tank and noise was kind of just more situational tank where she taunts and then um, if you're using guillotine, uh, I found it easier to just use my noise heal around halfway point uh when the rock the snipers respawn just to, to just keep my units alive while also dealing with the black and white circles now i it, it's gonna vary from people to people some people have you done this kind of team comp so and then like an, an, a healer or something like that and I'll show you the ones that I ended up running with, but the general idea for this team was the the core of this team was this volume and mass together. I have tried also where I did use Jackal, and this one actually works also. And if you're uh, you have a healer with Rapunzel here, and yeah, this is this is the team. Now some people might say it's like, oh, I'm using Guillotine, uh, but then. I have a healer or that that's constantly healing and it's not the worst if you're using mast as long as you try, just try to make sure to burst as often uh that thing works out so it's gonna be varying i think probably the more consistent one for other people is to use scarlet alongside with jackal in this situation so that you don't have to worry about the heals as much but Jackal does help to kind of mitigate and then also to be kind of benefits from Jackal. But yeah, and but this one obviously Jackal would buff both 2B and Guillotine's Burst if you have like a decently invested one. Uh, oh, someone asked if how does how invested does Snow White need for that for that team? Unfortunately, for most Snow White team, it's gonna be max. You really need to one shot those you uh, that that gun and um, I just want to point out also if you are using this team. Remember what I said on the previous uh, video, and if you guys haven't, some people might be just like tuning in on this video immediately without looking at the previous video. The previous video, and I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, talked about the mechanics of this boss, and I talked about their the getting the core shot on the guns you really want to use snow white to do the core shot on the guns so that you can get like pretty much like a guarantee almost guaranteed kill but again if your units are not invested then that's gonna be pretty tough for your snow white so it's gonna be varying for snow white to snow white if you if you need a little bit more damage i think the yulha method might be more consistent but yeah so it's again you're gonna have to see which one will work out for you but using that snow white team is a does require your snow white to be fairly invested okay okay so we talked about this team uh where 2b is pretty much like a may say i have seen some people where they needed like a tank for this team too and so they ended up using this team which is the diesel 
diesel to kind of just help like mitigate the tankiness to because you're not maybe you're not able to kill the mobs as fast with these two uh with these two dps so diesel does help a little bit on that one and then in that situation some people that didn't have mast can actually use novel here so in that situation you could actually do this right so this this team would actually work just fine and if you guys watched the previous like 2b videos um novel is actually not a bad unit to use for using 2b but you just have to be paying attention on when you're gonna use the burst make sure that the light bulb whenever whenever novel bursts there's a light bulb that appears on the boss wait for it to explode and then once it explodes the defense down ha is available now and then you can use your burst skill on that one okay same with guillotine if you're using that so that they get the multiplier from novel so you guys just need to make sure to be aware of that you don't need to do that for the first two bursts but the second or the third burst plus or minus once novel has max stacks so because you need to have max stacks so th that's kind of like a note for using novel now the last team this is probably the team that a lot of people it, it, it's just like this is where you just you just go creative at it <laughs> so some people who hasn't used a2 in team one to four can slot in their a2 here and you're gonna be ill and then like really whatever keeps her alive i had rapunzel healing with ludmilla as tank for this one and it did like 800 mil uh there are some people that for team five you know if they use their a2 on the team one to four they ended up doing something like this where actually i'm just gonna show actually all right you know what Let, let's let's build this up it would be uh pepper and then you have the electros this is the leftovers <laughs> and you have narrow as your fire tank as here and then biscuit yeah yeah exactly the pvp team pvp units that you have been using apparently now is like a pve team as well this team is very tricky because it requires a lot that doesn't have any cooldown reduction so you need to be very careful in terms of like your usage uh what worked out for me is i ended up bursting with biscuit first and then on the subsequent burst after that i bursted with narrow just to uh keep the team alive and i was manually controlling pepper for so that she will constantly heal or buff narrow or at least the, that's the idea behind it so that she will get that recovery and so she'll get tankier so that's the idea behind it uh there was another option where instead of like biscuit and narrow they used like rapunzel to constantly keep narrow healing and then like just some different teams it's you this is this is the narrow strat because you're constantly healing with pepper it's I'll, I'll tell you what it's um everyone just huff scopium on this team now i'll show you the different simulations that i have tried out and uh, maybe I'll, I'll slap some commentary on it a little bit so yeah this one the litter bunny girls scarlet moderna that's a pretty standard i think it it did pretty solid but at the same time the damage was kind of on the low end and then we have the volume team that i talked about and in this situation i as i mentioned before you have to play around using noise whether just manual her fast charge instead of like full charge so that like the aggro doesn't only go to to your noise and you might want to share aggro between 2b and noise just to kind of help it out 
and then snow white team talked about it earlier and then this is one of my alice team with anis and this is a very offensive team i believe i almost like killed both turrets within like one rotation immediately on the first burst you kill both rifles with alice burst so that's the idea behind it and even then alice will lifesteal regardless so she's not gonna be in danger too much and then i had uh, another team here with maxwell a2 and ludmilla dala and rapunzel it is a fairly comfy team uh in terms of just keeping the team alive uh, is that oh yeah so that's the five team i think it did 5.1 bill uh this another team this is the other set S -s 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 alice and maxwell together uh, i did 1.4 here uh this is boomer hands i'll i'll be honest with you some people's alice and maxwell with dorothy novel they've done 1.9 but also my alice doesn't have elemental damage so that's something to keep in mind as well uh so my damage is kind of compared to others hey listen i'm just gonna say gear diff not skill diff okay <laughs> anyways uh another attempt of the snow white team and then this is the a2 modernia team a lot of people have been using this more with the bunny girls litter bunny girls a2 modernia they found it comfy uh and that's probably because like if you don't have any better healer for a2 that's gonna be it and then this is another example of the jackal so you see jackal masked with 2b and guillotine and then uh okay this one actually uh yeah it died but i'll i guarantee you hold up do i have another example of it uh, I accidentally made a mistake on this one. I couldn't like destroy the shield back then. Okay, actually before that, I need to warn you. Using narrow, you need to make sure you're on top of your bursts because you could drop or and then you need to make sure that narrow has bullets because otherwise like she might not have enough to destroy the circles. So the circles uh, with the shield, the QTE, is you can you can handle it with just one fire unit that is support. But um, sometimes you need to make sure that you have full burst alongside with it so that you, you're, you're up, your burst is up on that one. And uh, this is another attempt with narrow. Uh, this time I guess I use volume. I don't think it's it was worth using this, but... Uh, it was a little bit comfier because I didn't have to be very specific on my burst timing windows. And uh, this is a Yolha attempt. I think I did mess up a little bit on this one. That's probably why. Uh, but it is a Miranda Snow White with Yolha attempt. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, I think the issue with this one is I didn't manage to time it properly with um, Yolha's buff with Snow White's buff. So you're you're gonna have to play around with it on that one. And now this one is Jackal. I think I just played around with it just to test it things out. I wanted to see if I could use someone else other than Rapunzel. And this is it doesn't have any cooldown reduction, but Jackal with Guillotine to be and then uh Summer Mary. And then this is another one example, Alice and Maxwell with the Bunny Girls. Again, my Alice didn't really have a lot, uh, didn't have any elemental damage. That's, that's why if you see the top rankings, people are going to see like 2.5 mil, 2.5 bill and stuff like that. <laughs> this is another example. Uh, yes. Uh, so in this situation where you cannot like destroy as fast as you can this is with the Dorothy team comp Privity, uh, Modernia, Helm, Novel, uh, Dorothy so this is another example where you could actually use Modernia to just kind of help 
uh, deal with that. She's doing majority of the damage and then Helm is just healing. So in this situation where you cannot go really very offensive on it, like if you put like Maxwell for example, then th this is that's one example on it. And then uh, these last two were ad just additional examples of me testing things out with A2 and like Ludmilla and then this one is Maxwell and Modernia. So this is the ranking records that I have. I am planning to update it a little bit more but for now I think it's basically those are gonna like gonna be the units that I'm gonna be playing around with. Uh, I'll probably fiddle around with these but it's gonna be something similar to these units for now. <laughs> okay so substitutes just to kind of probably help some people out because not everyone's gonna have that. Nero is very hard to substitute because of the fire requirement unless you do have other fire source then in that situation then you can actually use um, other units. Diesel is a good unit to use but the thing is when you're using diesel you just need to make sure to time your bursts. There's gonna be specific time windows where you can use your burst with diesel and then she will taunt and then she can taunt the ro the rifles during that time so that's something to just keep in mind but diesel will be able to tank those now the other substitutes really like in terms of offensive you guys have figured out like you know when offensive units novel like mast uh, yeah, or, where's my mast yeah so novel mast like offensive b2s if you don't have like either of them there's other offensive b2s that you could use for 20 seconds dollar guilty is another option uh, obviously that that is more in the lower end but it is still an option nonetheless add me is something to consider as well for example alongside with alice when you can have a reload speed of around i think i believe it's 109 percent if you have 109 percent on add me with a reload speed you can kind of have unlimited ammo so that's something to consider uh i would say those are the main substitutes and the others really it's just whatever fire is you're gonna be playing around with the different fire uh, options now <laughs> You guys might wonder i didn't really talk about like power <laughs> i didn't really talk about like the plus or vesti uh right now i'm still figuring out if there is gonna be a better use for them i could see power being used more if you need like fire just to kind of help things out with the bursts for example so that's something to consider as well. So for example, right, like in, in the last part, if you didn't have, if you didn't have um, anything, maybe you had power here and then maybe you had like Scarlet, for example, right, like then you could uh, forego using Nero. So so people that don't have Nero, right, you could, you could use power instead and then diesel for your uh, taunt and then you might want to have like a cooldown unit something like this like volume or even if not maybe you could do double dipping on the cooldown on the burst two so you could use dala or helm and then on your burst one you know something that you could end up using jackal could work maybe because like it will buff power so yeah all right these are kind of just like example substitutes that you could use the other ones it's very difficult but if i do find some other team comp that would work i'll try to add notes and as usual i'll just add the link again on this because as usual i do update these uh this this thing and you guys can just check it out and uh of my other notes so it's gonna be very difficult but 
hey as i mentioned from the previous guide it is very it's actually pretty accurate now your goal is basically as much as possible destroy these parts the rifles asap because they really put the pressure on your healer and then you can focus on the core and if you don't uh if you can destroy the part another part try to destroy the part but if you cannot destroy the part then just keep focusing on the shots here not talking about summer neon dark parts damage uh listen chat <laughs> uh you have to use the bursts on summer neon which i guess it's not bad but the downside is it's really i guess you're not gonna be using skill to but most of people who have invested in summer neon probably have invested in skill two not skill one so yeah and then she's not fire so yeah that's yeah good luck um hey listen if if your summer neon ends up working out go uh go comment it share the class what team you ended up like cooking up with it i will make a revision right now on my teams i think i will end up with probably um at least in the current revision i will end up with like 5.4 5.5 um mil so we'll see it on that one but yeah i need to i'll, I'll update it obviously still and as usual i'll just keep streaming it on twitch whatever's the update but for now i am tired <laughs> and that's why i didn't really want to do another run right now <laughs> i am pretty tired so um but yeah that's gonna be it i'll see you guys next time